Looking at these images, it is hard to believe that the logo of our TV company was engraved on an aluminum mug with the help of a cotton swab and a battery. But how is that possible? Secret ingredient, of course, was not without a secret ingredient. Let's get to the bottom of this. Crazy fact, metal can be engraved with salt. We will need common table salt, a small amount of water, sticks for ears, a 9-volt battery, a couple of wires with clamps, and an aluminum mug on which we have already made a stencil in the form of the symbol of the channel REN TV. First, we prepare the so-called electrolyte and dilute salt in water. The more concentrated our salt solution is, the faster the process will go. Water is known by itself to be a poor conductor of electric current, but when you add salts that dissolve to form ions, the conductivity increases dramatically. With the help of terminals and wires, we connect an aluminum mug on the plus current lead of the battery, and on the minus one, we attach a cotton swab. During the experiment, it will be necessary to make sure that the negative terminal does not touch our mug directly, because this will lead to a short circuit of possible overheating and possible explosion of the battery. Modern batteries are very powerful, so can be a source of fire. Now all we have to do is soak the cotton swab in the solution so that the so-called salt bridge appears and current can flow through the circuit. Let's start engraving. This process is called anodizing. The very first thing this process can produce is a deeper surface oxidation of aluminum with the formation of a fairly strong oxide film on the metal surface. This allows the top layer to be strengthened, making it inert to environmental influences. In addition, you can also get different colorations of the metal, for example, if you apply dyes. So, from an industry perspective, we are now anodizing our aluminum. The engraving is ready. At the point of exposure, the top layer of metal has dissolved and become rough. The drawing will remain in place even if you wash the mug with water. So, as crazy as it sounds, you can make an engraving with a regular cotton swab. 